At Game Love Brisbane, the culture is everything for our studio. We've got a really relaxed team and a great group of like-minded, super talented developers. Game Love made Oregon Trail games before. Uh, specifically, the Brisbane studio hasn't. So this was our first experience with the Oregon Trail. How we kept the, the heart and soul of the original Oregon Trail was, you know, really just at the start, going back and playing it and breaking the game down screen by screen. We took that and then, you know, dove into researching what those actual locations were on the trail. Really just understanding like where the original developers, what they were trying to get at. Trying to keep as much real history in the game as we could was really key. So we really wanted to base everything in reality. And it kind of naturally lines up, right? Because the original did the same thing. It was just simpler. We basically tried to look at it as if we were making it for the first time, following the same guidelines as the 1985 version. We noticed in the original, there wasn't a lot of Native American representation. It's funny, the original developer in um, a Reddit, he actually called it out as well and said that if there was one thing that he could add back into it, it would be to tell more of those stories. In early development, we broke out four key pillars, uh, which were authenticity, nostalgia, replayability and player choice. We took those four elements and sort of based all of our decisions around those and made sure that if we were including a mechanic or making a design decision, it matched to one or more of those pillars and sort of didn't damage or go against any of them. We wanted to keep this very based in reality and make it very convincing. So I would look up what types of foliage turned up in certain areas of the environment. And I would go on Google Maps trips to make sure that I was following the terrain very accurately. We're reading these um, travelers journals and they would describe like these massive landscapes uh, where you've got these huge prairies that just go for days and then when we added um, the sky system and like the little bumblebees and things like that it really just brought it all to life. The 3D environments while we wanted to make them really beautiful and lush didn't look too realistic compared to the 2D characters that we had moving around the environment so we chose a very uh, flat graphical art style for the texturing to keep the background in the background and let the, the characters kind of shine. So when Unreal first came into Gameloft Australia, it was just such a smooth process. Quite quickly and easily the team were able to, to pick it up and get started. And I think what, what's really amazing is like that global community for Unreal. Like there's, there's just so many resources that the team could pull from and learn. Being able to work in engine like I could with Unreal was really important and also all of the um, natural environment landscape and tools that Unreal has really sped up the process because we had a very small art team for creating the environments. So speed was everything and Unreal's foliage tools, all of their mesh painting tools were really important for creating a very fast pipeline for creating a lot of content quickly. Working with blueprints makes everything much faster. Development and iteration process, iteration time between what you want to create and what you see is much quicker. So to create visuals, to create materials, to create post processes, uh, anything that needs a lot of iteration is much easier to do through blueprints than let's say in C++ or other languages. Blueprints gave us the flexibility to just create content very quickly and then iterate upon it very quickly as well. We have, I think, just shy of 400 events in the Oregon Trail. We wouldn't have had even half that with any kind of lesser system. When we started using Unreal, it just made such a huge difference for our art team. It just meant that they could, you know, finally be hands-on. You know, I'm not going to name names with the other engines, but this one really just allowed the artists to jump in and create without boundaries. Thank you.